When you launch Pronest, the main window will appear. It's divided into several sections. The top section contains the title bar. This shows the job name. When Pronest LT is started, a new job is automatically created and the job name is shown at the top of the screen. The ribbon up at the top is divided into several tabs, so File, Home, Nest, and so on. Each tab contains a set of controls that you'll use to perform various operations in Pronest. Though there are a lot of ribbon items, you'll get more familiar with them as you use Pronest. Um, if you ever need more information on what any of the ribbon controls do, there are hover hints available for all of these. So um, you can just hover the mouse over the button and it will give you a little description. Also you can press the F1 key to open up the help and that will explain a little bit more about that control and how to use it. Okay, on the left hand side of the main window is the part list task pane. This is dockable, you can move this anywhere you want. Um, when Pronest is started normally, the part list doesn't contain any parts. You can also activate other task panes such as the separations editor or the properties pane using the view tab. So on the view tab here, you can select any of these to display them in the main window. And likewise, if you want to hide any of these, just go to, again to the view tab and then clear the boxes. The remaining area of the main window is devoted to nesting. Um, in the nesting area, there's an image of an empty nest. On startup, Pronest will automatically select a machine and then open a new job. The empty nest that's displayed here will use the dimensions of that machine's default plate. So that's what you see here. Um, at the very bottom is the status bar. The status bar shows the current machine, that's the settings file that's currently loaded, as well as details about the nest, hints, and then a link to product news. So one tip here, and this is about the quick access toolbar up at the top of this window. If you have ribbon commands that you find you use frequently, you can add them to the quick access toolbar at the top of the window. These items are always visible no matter what tab is selected here. So no matter what's selected here, right now I have the save and settings buttons available, but you can click this arrow here, select more commands, and then let's say I want to add cut simulation to that toolbar. Let's go to the tab here and find the item you want. I can drag cut simulation right over here and now it will always be available for you. This is just a tip that can save you some time.